Oh yeah, when I started seeing this come in on Thursday, I was like, I gotta get on this. This is extremely rare. The last time we saw a geomagnetic storm watch was around 20 years ago. Now joining us live via Zoom is Michelle Nichols. She's the Director of Public Observing at the Adler Planetarium. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about this exciting news. Uh, the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center now saying the geomagnetic storm has strengthened and reached a G4 conditions. Okay, so to our viewers hearing, they might be like, what in the world is that? Can you explain what is happening on the sun and what our will we see here on Earth? Yep, so what's happened is a large sunspot group, the area around it has unleashed material from the sun. That stuff has traveled through space and it's interacting with the Earth's magnetic field material that's in the Earth's magnetic field is currently streaming down toward the Earth and interacting with gases in our Earth's atmosphere. Those gases glow. We call that the Northern Lights or the Southern Lights, depending on where you are. And so the stronger the level of activity, the farther south you get to see this. And so this is uh, activity that's strong enough that we might get to see the Northern Lights tonight, possibly tomorrow night as well. Okay, and certain technologies may also be impacted with this, such as high frequency communications and GPS. Can you talk more about this and how can people prepare? So for the most part, most of us won't even notice um, all this. It's really more for the communications folks, um, the folks uh, taking care of our electrical power grids, um, people who operate spacecraft. Uh, so there's not much that you necessarily need to do unless maybe you're, a, you're a, a ham radio operator or something like that. So for the most part, you shouldn't notice, except if you wanna go outside and you want to see the glowing, amazing aurora. Um, so we, we hope Hope we can get to see that after that line of storms moves through tonight. Yeah, so I really asked you that because my mom was like, wait, does that mean we're going to lose communication with our cell phones? And, you know, I just wanted to ask that so that the viewers are aware they might run into those, you know, statements on social media. So just that they're aware there's not much to be worried about. All yeah, right. So what are about. the best viewing conditions away from the city, right? Right. You want to get away from light pollution. Auroras are not usually very bright. So you want to get maybe to the west, to the northwest, to the north. Um, you want to not be looking in an area that's very light polluted. So when people ask me, where in the city should I go? I tell them, go away from the city, go away from the suburbs if you can. Um, get out where it's dark. And if you don't see something, well, best thing to do, go out face north, look up. But if you don't see something, grab your cell phone camera because your camera might notice the colors more easily than your eyes do. So take a time-lapse photo. That might help you see stuff even a little bit better. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle, for joining us. And now let's talk a little bit about the weather that we are going to have tonight and when I think we're going to see those skies slowly clear. So right now we do have some clouds around out there and we are going to keep some clouds around here and there with the possibility of the northern lights. I think the best time to see them when the clouds clear out will be closer to about three in the morning. So while most of us are asleep. So yes, that possibility as Michelle told us for tonight and then again for tomorrow night. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.